Hello, thanks for joining us for another video. In this one, we're going to take a look at an example of creating sloped floors within Vertex BD. In this example, we're going to look at an inclined sloped floor. To start with, we will right click in the modeling window and select the add floor option. From here, we will right click to select our floor framing tools for both our floor framing and subframing as required by the drop downs and as shown. As you can see, for our subframe, we have chosen the inclined option. With our required options selected, we then press OK and place the floor structure in our modeling window. We select our previously defined floor structure required for this floor by the drop down selection menu as shown. Next, with our floor selected, we right click and then go back to our floor framing tools window and navigate to the direction and alignment section. Here we have the options to set our rotate angle, alignment position and offset. In this example, we'll set our rotation angle to 90 and then select OK. Next, we select our floor structure again and this time we right click, select clip area layer. We then select our top layer of our floor structure Select Add and choose the Edit Thickness of Layer by Top option as shown. We select to lock the corner grip point and then mark the opposing corner as the set origin point. With that completed, we then set our constraint to the Z axis and enter our required distance, which in this case is 75mm. Once completed, we then select the OK and generate our parts to implement our changes. Now, as you can see, the top layer is sloped with a gradual incline. This same principle works in regards to creating inclines or declines for flooring and roofing structures. The left section is set to the 75 millimeter we input when defining our required distance. And then at the top side of the floor panel, it is 147 millimeters as default for this framing structure. With our sloped floor created, you may wish to further amend your floor structure from here. For example, you may wish to amend the main framing layer to your floor. This can be achieved by modifying that layer via its framing tool. To achieve this, we select our floor structure and then select the required layer from the layer dropdown as shown. We then right click and select the framing tool and we go back to the direction and alignment tab and amend the direction from 90 back to zero. We select OK and Vertex will ask if we would like to convert it back to a flat structure. We select No here as we want to keep our slope to our floor structure. Next, we select the floor structure again, but this time we select our main floor frame layer rather than our top subframe layer. We then select the framing tool from the right click contextual menu and again within here we navigate to the direction and alignment tab. Within here this time, we amend the direction from 0 to 90. With this completed, we press OK and generate our parts for our floor framing again. Once we've completed parts generation, the floor framing and subframing will now align framing buttons. We can amend these by our individual framing layers if required. As shown, if we select the top subframe layer of our floor structure and then utilizing the fields option, we reposition and redefine our field, we can change our button positions as needed. First, we position our field location and definition at the bottom corner origin point and we select and change its direction. When we regenerate parts, our previously defined buttons are removed, so we then need to set these up again via our framing tools section as shown. We select our subframing layer. We go back to our framing tools for this layer via our right click framing tools option and we then navigate back to the direction and alignment window. Within here, we reset our alignment to left. Once we have done so, we select the OK option. We again choose the no option when Vertex asks if we would like to convert the surface to a flat one and then we regenerate parts. 
Now our subframing layer patterns are angled as per we have just defined in relation to our field and alignment changes. This method of creating sloped floors and roof structures works both for inclines and declines and enables you to make and define slope structures for your projects within Vertex BD with ease. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for more videos on how to get the most out of your Vertex software.